Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video of Microsoft Excel lookup series on your favorite channel Technical Portal. We all are familiar with the VLOOKUP formula right? But we are not so much familiar with the index and match function. So today in this video we are going to learn something new and something very important with the index and match function as VLOOKUP formula contains some disadvantages. We will talk about that all in this video. So watch this video till the end and don't worry I will give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box. So please check it, download it and do practice for further improvement of your knowledge. So basically today with this example we are going to calculate index and match on multiple columns. So in this example I have a simple database which contains a table reference which have some group value, value 1, value 2 and value 3 and in group we have some groups here like A, B, C, D. So basically what we need to do we are going to search for the name from this name list and assign the group names according to this table reference. So we are going to do this with the index and match function where we are going to include the MMULT function, transpose function and column function nested into the single index match. And this will be the array function so watch the steps carefully. So here in the group cell we are going to use the first formula right equals to first we need to insert the index formula. So here we need an array and what will be our array that we are going to assign as groups included here from B4 to B7. Now don't forget to lock your cell references. So whenever you copy the formula anywhere else in your database it will not change its table reference. Now insert a comma now here we are going to use the match function. So here it is asking for a lookup value. Now here we need to do a trick. We are going to use number 1 here as a lookup value. Watch carefully, I will describe every argument I am using into this formula, right? So insert a comma. Now here we are going to use the MMULT function. MMULT. Look at here what it is showing that is returns the matrix product of two arrays and array with the same number of rows as an array 1 and columns as array 2. Now don't worry what it actually is, I will describe this to you into this video. Now here as an array 1 we need to use the double negative then open parenthesis. Now here we need to provide the names table reference that is from C4 to E7. Now here also press the F4 key to lock your cell references equals to and what it will search for it will search for the name that is given into this cell that is G3 right the name list from here. Now close the parenthesis. Now what it will do? It will generate a true or false result for every value in this data that is called the name references, right? And this double negative quote says the true and false values to ones and zeros to yield any array for our match function. So after closing parenthesis, insert a comma. Now here we need to use the transpose function use transpose. Now what it is showing that converts a vertical range of cells to a horizontal range or vice versa. So press the tab button to autofill it. Now it is asking for an array. In the array of transpose we need to use the column function here. Note carefully not columns we need the column only that returns the column number of a reference. Now here it is asking for reference. Now here again we need to use this name range that is from C4 to E7 right. Now here also press the F4 key to lock the references. Close the parenthesis. Now what it will do the column function is used to create a numeric array with three columns and one row and transpose converts this array to one column and three rows. Raising to the power of 0 simply converts all numbers in the array to 1. Next the MMULT function does its work. Here we need to use caret symbol that is by pressing shift and 6 from your 
keyboard. Here use 0, close the parenthesis and come to the match function. Here insert a comma, now it is asking for match type and we are going to use 0 as we need the exact match function. Now the match function returns the position of the first match which corresponds to the row of the first matching row meeting supplied criteria. So this feeds into the index match as we have typed earlier as the row number, right? So close the parenthesis. Now don't directly hit the enter button. We need to use control, shift and enter. That's all. You will get your results automatically. Now you can find that every time you need to use the ranges manually. So this might be boring. So what we need to do what we can do alternatively that we can just select this one and create a name range as groups right again here we need this table as a names right so I am selecting this table data now clicking here and typing names right so this data is assigned as names as my named range now where you can find it go to the formula step and name manager here you will get the two named ranges we just have created so from the next formula we just need to use like this equals to let me show you again index as an array we are going to use the group names look at here as typing gro it is already showing into the drop down menu simply press the tab button to autofill it comma now again type match here as an lookup value we need to use one comma as lookup array we need to use mmult function here double negative open parenthesis now we need to use the named ranges that we have created as names look at here it is here now highlight this named range and press the tab button to autofill it equals to now you do not need to repeatedly enter the cell ranges and even log the ranges so here we are searching for the value included into this cell close the parenthesis insert a comma now using the transpose function as an array we are going to use the column function here into column function again we need to use the names ranges press the tab button to autofill it close the parenthesis insert caret by pressing shift and six key from your keyboard use 0 close parenthesis come to the match function here insert a comma now we are going to use the exact match as option close the parenthesis and hit the enter button by holding the control and shift key look at here we got our result automatically and it is totally error free now double click here to automatically copy the formula from upside down so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video now don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries into the comment section of this video i'll come back soon with another interesting video like this till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing